Hi, I'm Andy Alloway. I'm the owner of Nebraska Realty. Wanted to give you a quick uh, market update on the real estate market in the Omaha area for up through uh, July of 2016. So let's take a look. The, uh, the first thing that we've talked about many times this year is number on market, and that continues to be down uh, 15% year over year from uh, last July to this July. Uh, it's really our biggest problem right now is the market is strong. We've got a lot of buyers out there. Uh, we just don't have enough properties to sell them because there's not enough affordable new construction coming back into the market. So we're continuing to work on that. Uh, number under contract in July, you can see, is down about 7% from uh, last July of 2015. That's more of a reflection of the lack of inventory, really, of, than, than anything in the uh, strength of the real estate market. Number of closed year-to-date, we're tracking about the same as last year, about 8,300 properties uh, sold. Volume closed, uh, about uh, 1.6 billion. That's up about 3%, indicative of an increase in price. Again, that's supply and demand with limited, uh, limited supply uh, that the price continues to appreciate. Uh, the new sale median is about 282 unchanged from last year. Continue to see a lot of new construction in the upper price ranges. And again, not so much in the lower price ranges where it's a, a little bit more needed. Uh, and then the existing sale price median is at 161 from 150. And again, these are record prices. We're continuing to set records at median and average prices over the last few years. That's indicative here. You can see the average sales price year to date through July, 203,000. That's for all properties on average. Uh, and never seen it over 200,000 in our market before. Uh, average existing price year to date, uh, so properties that are not new construction is at 190,000, that's up. Uh, average new construction is up uh, over 300,000. And then the median, this is national, so these are local. The median national was 244,000. That's the median home sale price nationally. That represents, there's 53 months uh, of year-over-year -year gains. That's the 53rd consecutive month of year-over-year -year gains. So we've really come a long way back from, the, uh, from the, where the recession uh, was at its deepest. Uh, some of the other thing, interesting, just to break it down by price ranges in July, again, the number closed in July here, uh, but then if you take it kind of by $100,000 price increments, you can really see the, the, the majority of properties that are sold in Omaha occur under $300,000 vast majority between about 100 and 300,000. And then when you start to get to those upper price ranges, uh, it really begins to, to fall off in terms of, of the number of properties that are sold. So you need to be aware of that. If I have a, a home that's a little bit higher priced, you just have to be more realistic in your expectations, smaller buyer pool, typically, and maybe a little bit longer period of time before that home sells. Uh, average, that's with the reflection here, the average and median days on market under 250,000. Currently in our market, the average is 31 days with a median of just eight. And then you can see how that jumps up once you get over 250. It goes up to 48 average days and 17. And then when you're 500 plus, and this is taking new construction out, you're over 55 uh, days on market with a median of 28. So sometimes in those cases, you just have to make sure we priced right, is the condition uh, right for where it needs to be, and then sometimes just be a little bit more uh, patient in those price ranges. Uh, and then if we look at uh, the breakdown uh, here, 500 uh, plus thousand dollar homes, so properties over half a million, accounted for 2.7% of the sales in the Omaha market, but they currently account for 11% of the active inventory. So there's, there's quite a few of those homes out there for no more sales than we have. And then properties over 250,000, they accounted for 29% of the sales in July, but they represent 48%, so almost half of all the inventory is over 250,000 but only about 30% of the sales occur. So again, we got a little bit more inventory over that price range. Uh, the absorption rates under 250,000, basically an absorption rate is the amount of supply that we have. And under 250, we have about a month and a half supply. It's very low uh, balanced uh, absorption rate. It was about you know, five to six months supply. Uh, 250 to five, it's about a 3.3, so we're getting a little better. And then over five, we have about a six month, so uh, you know, pretty good in that range right there. So if you have any questions on these the market stats or anything else, uh, I'd love to tell you more. You can always call me uh, anytime. Thanks for watching today.